Hey there, I'm Carrie. I'm going to walk you through how to use DegreeWorks uh, at Old Dominion University. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to odu.edu and then you'll click on My ODU. It will bring you to a login page. I'm already logged in, so um, I'm going to jump ahead a little, but it'll have you do two-factor and then um, approve it like on your phone. And once you get logged in, you'll go to DegreeWorks under My Favorite Apps. If you don't see it under My Favorite Apps, it is possible that it's over on this left-hand toolbar under here. So what we'll load is the worksheet page. This is where um, it shows you all the classes that it is that you need for your degree, and if it shows you the classes that you've completed or are currently in progress. So up top, it shows some demographic information your name, the thing you're studying, GPA, your credit hours, your academic standing, holds, the whole shebang. Um, and then as we go down, something to keep in mind is that it goes from broad to specific. So um, it's going to start with general education classes and end with either a major, a minor, or concentration, depending on how, um, how specific you've gotten with your degree already. Um, so for this one, we're going to start with kind of the umbrella of everything underneath it. Something to just note with a legend. If something is green, it means it's complete. Red means it's not complete. And blue usually means that it is in progress. So the first area is the lower division general education requirements. Um, this is kind of broken down into categories of the different areas that you need to take classes while you're at ODU. So um, you'll see here, choose one of the following. So even though there's four options here under oral communication, you only need to take one of those classes. And you can click on the, um, the class and it'll give you a little description about each of them to kind of give you a better idea of which one it is that you would like to take. You'll also notice some of them have little stars after it. That means that there's some prerequisites on it. So there's the prerequisites. I think that's a little complicated to read, so I like I prefer like reading it in narrative form instead, where it says prerequisites, a passing grade on the writing success placement tool. And then we'll keep scrolling down. So language and culture, something to note about this is if you took three years of one language, um, foreign language in high school, then you do not need to do the language and culture requirement at ODU. It also counts if you did two years of two languages in high school. Um, if this is not showing as met and you have one of those things, it is possible that your eighth semester transcript has not come through from your high school. Um, if you're a transfer student, maybe you just didn't submit it. And so that would be a good idea um, to submit it so you don't have to do those classes. Uh, otherwise, you would take two semesters of a foreign language at ODU. Next is a human behavior area. You'll see some have stars and asterisks, some do not. Human creativity, interpreting the past, literature, philosophy and ethics, and impact of technology. Now, you can do all of your gen eds up front, but I would really recommend kind of pacing them out and spreading them across um, as many semesters as, as you can, uh, just to give some balance. So you're, you know, not in your junior and senior year taking like strictly like 400 level courses the entire time, um, just so that way you're using different parts of your brain, you know? Then we go down to departmental requirements for biology. Um, so these are classes that you need as a biology major, um, but aren't maybe necessarily within the biology department. So we have English Comp 2, some math, some physical sciences, and chemistry, and then this will track some of the lab counters, and then down into the major. So here's general biology. You'll see there's a long list of prerequisites here, but you'll see placement into English 110C, and there's a pre or co-requisite of Biology 122, which is the lab, and Math 102 or higher, um, or a test score into that. So there's a lot going on there, a lot of moving parts around Bio 1. And then we get the Core 4 right here, Ecology, Evolution, Cell Biology, and Genetics, and then it'll show the 30 credits of Biology elective. Now I'm going to toggle over to the 
plans tab. So right here underneath the name. And this is this one's showing as if she is a psychology major. So based on um, all the information, documents, and all of that stuff to support um, your admission to ODU and your placement in ODU, um, we have created an academic plan for you for the upcoming semester. Um, and you can you can see down here at the bottom like when it is we made that plan. This is just from last year. Um, but based on test scores that were entered, placement scores, AP, IB, dual enrollment, transfer credit, everything that we have we've taken into consideration. But the emphasis on that is everything we have. So you may have done something, but we just don't have it yet. Um, if that is the case and you're like, hey, I see I'm recommended for intro to psychology. Actually, I got like a six million on the AP test for intro to psychology. Okay, not really. It's only on a score of one to five. Um, but I don't think I need to be taking this class. Just contact your academic advisor during registration and they can help you um, discern which class it is you should be taking otherwise. Um, but you'll see some of these classes are spe very specific, right? Like we want you to take English 110C, Math 103M, and Psych 201S. But then scroll down a little bit and you'll see it says placeholder requirement and then a value. So what this is, it means that we want you to take two lower division general education classes that are, that's three credits, so one, two. And here's where you kind of get to pick and choose what it is that you would like to do for these two classes. Um, that's when you would go back to the worksheet tab and where it had that long list of lower division general education classes, you would pick two classes. Um, from different areas though, because you want to satisfy as many areas um, as possible and you don't want to duplicate because you don't need to do that. Um, so that is how you would determine which classes it is that you should be taking for the upcoming semester. Now again, if you're like, hey, I don't think this is right. I think there might be, you know, something missing or you're recommending I take 15 credits. I don't think I want to do 15. I think I want to do part time. I want to do six. That is totally okay. Each person's, um, you know, journey to graduation is a little bit different. Um, so just get in touch with your academic advisor or another staff person from the advising office in your room, and we will be happy to help.